Hey guys, welcome to my channel and Mabos Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here. So today's topic, it's not the easy one. And I'm challenging myself on this one. <laughs> but I'll do it anyway. <clears throat> so one of the days or weeks, uh, there has been a baby that was found uh, from KZN. And um, it was said that the mother has left uh, the baby with a note, a bottle, a bag of nappies and i believe this she's done it to easy her conscious because now she she's like okay uh, at least i didn't just leave him there bare right i i did something um that is a starter for someone to look after the baby right so in the note that she wrote uh she did state um the few things in that note but the one that stands out with me is the one when she says that she has spoken to a social worker twice already and they just were slow for her to handle this matter, right? So another one, she's saying that we can't abort in the hospitals. Um, it's not safe they have strict rules right so this is a 23 year old uh, woman where did it go wrong i believe that it went wrong from when she was little because now if you see this woman the way that she's done whatever that she's done it's an ongoing pattern that we have in south africa um, I'll make an example. When a girl child goes uh, to clinic, maybe they are age uh, 16, they go there to pick a condom, a pack of condoms. Uh, people are giving her a weird scare. I mean, they just stay here in a weird way. It's even worse when you're an, an adult, you go there to pick a, a, a packs of condoms. People give you the weird scare. So it's not anybody's fault, but that's who we are as black community, right? Um, you find um, a household that has a teenager. They know that this girl child is in puberty. Um, so now what? They're going to be sexual active anyway. The highest percentage of the households, they don't take the child to the clinic for any prevention regards a girl child falls pregnant when they fall pregnant the only thing that is spoken of is that if you do it again you're out of this house or if a girl child gets pregnant they cut they, they're cut from the family it's like you won't go to school anymore or you we won't do this for you anymore. Meanwhile, everyone was aware that this person was sexual active. They didn't do anything. Even worse, they get pregnant. Nobody is saying that now that you have a baby, you know what is happening. From now on, I'm taking you to clinic or go to the clinic and they make a follow-up that this person is preventing whatever method that they'll be using. Nobody wants to take that responsibility in the family. Instead, they just say, you know what, you, you had a baby first once. Now, you won't have the second baby without putting any measure in, without taking any responsibility. But this kids, yes, a person falls pregnant, right? Meanwhile, they know that they're sexual active. They don't go to prevent. And nobody's taking them. The only thing that is spoken is that once you come with a second child, dun, 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 and then the kid comes with the second child, and then what? We just stay, and then it's endless, maybe about four kids. And this person drops out of school. So this matter of this woman is, um, it's a matter of, uh, that is very sensitive that many people are leaving off, although they're not abandoning the babies. Some, they take the babies to their grandmothers. They never see them. Uh, you take your baby after the baby is born. You take them to your grandmothers. You work wherever that you're working. 
It takes you 12 years to go and see the baby. Whose fault is it? So are you different from this woman that, take, that took the kid to the world and then you took the kid to your grandmother and never seen the baby for 12 years? I don't think so. Okay, so when we were still in that matter, um, Zoto Abantu came forward and she's talking about her 11 abortions. And even Zoto Abantu's story, it's every girl's story, most of the girls' story in our community. Because now, the first thing that your family, if they don't want you to have a baby, once you have a baby, they just help you to get abortion. And after that, nobody is taking a responsibility that from now on, you're going to go to prevent. No. You sit and you're still sexually active. Then you get pregnant again. Then somebody takes you again to, to abort. So it's an ongoing battle and situation that we are in. But what I'm saying is that whose responsibility is it? Are we neglecting our responsibilities as um, black community, especially women? Because now this thing uh, has been going for quite some time. We've seen the headlines, 13-year-olds falling pregnant from school, dropping out. Those people have parents who knew they are sexually active and they did nothing. We have teachers today that have to teach these kids about life orientation at school. And most or some of the teachers, they say that it's a sensitive matter for them. They can't teach these kids about these sexual activities and whatever. Their parents have to do it. So these kids are really failed and then they take it as in generation to generation. It doesn't stop because now... Once you are like that, when you are a teenager, you become old. I mean, you, something that you, you were not taught when you were a teenager, now that you are a grown-up, how will you know? It's a matter of you just carrying on with this survival that you've been having all this time. Um, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> Say what you think in the comment. So we can talk about this. If you have something to say, you can say. And then uh, let's just know the different minds. What is there? What do you know about this topic? And then, yeah, maybe it will help someone. Maybe it won't. But I believe that I'd like to engage more on topics like this. Because now it's the things that we don't want to touch as the society. But I believe that it's where we should start, actually. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.